is a rare earth rush at the moment. Ooh, wait, I feel like we found ourselves some rare earth right here. <laughs> yep, rare earths are what everyone's talking about. Australia's rare earth minerals deal. Rare earths. Rare earths. Rare earths. Rare earths. Rare earth materials. They're in everything from smartphones to fighter jets. So we need them. Now, wait a minute. I ain't got a toot an idea what a rare earth is anyways. Well, they're here on the periodic table. They're a group of 17 heavy metals. Like europium, neodymium, gadolinium and cerium. And while you may not know their names, you definitely use them. That's because rare earth minerals are crucial for all sorts of technologies. For example, cerium helps polish glass. Gadolinium is used in hospital MRI machines to make clear pictures inside the body. And neodymium makes super strong magnets that are used to power motors in everything from computers to electric cars. But FYI, rare earths aren't really rare. They're not rare? What? They're found everywhere throughout the Earth's crust, and we have a lot of them here in Australia. But they've earned the name because they're found in low concentrations, which makes them difficult to mine. You're telling me? I've been digging up! Then you need to process what you've mined before you can turn it into something useful. That's also difficult. And it takes a lot of chemicals and can produce some pretty toxic waste. Which is why Australia and many other countries export a lot of rare earths to China which mines and processes most of the world's supply. But recently, China has started to restrict some of its rare earth sales, making some governments nervous that stocks might run low and prices might go up. The scale of China's export controls scaled up since uh, April is unjustified and harmful. US President Donald Trump has been particularly concerned. As you know, our country doesn't have much raw earth. We very much need rare earth. So he's been hunting for new supplies in Greenland, Canada, Ukraine and in Australia. Hold up! I got some right here! Last week, Australia's Prime Minister and the US President finally met in person and left with a deal. It's an honour to sign this and we'll do it now. Amongst other things, it includes a promise to partner up on rare earths and other so-called critical minerals like lithium and nickel, which are used in modern technology. In about a year from now, we'll have so much critical mineral and rare earths that you won't know what to do with them. They'll be worth about $2. The Australian and American governments will spend more than $4 billion boosting mining projects in the US and Australia and building plants to refine rare earths. Part of what this is about isn't just digging things up, it's also about processing, including the joint ventures between Australia and the United States. We still don't know all the details, including how new projects might impact the environment. But many are hoping this boom will bring a boost to Australia's economy. Like my grandmammy used to say, there's a fortune digging up dirt. Yeah!